Hi Prep B, hi Prep W, Mr Broadbent here again for another read aloud. Um, today's one is called Bear in Underwear. Goodness me, sounds like a great title. So I wonder what this is going to be about. So let's try and make a prediction and do a little bit of synthesising and, and see if we can kind of have our base knowledge and then so let's see as we kind of read, I'm sure our knowledge is going to build again. Um, and as we go, we're going to find out a bit more. But hmm, have a think for a little bit what you think bear in underwear and what this book might be about. I can see underwear around the edge here and then bears in the middle. Okay, let's get into it and see what happens. Bear and his friends were playing hide and seek. Beaver was it. Ready or not, here I come. I'm not moving a whisker. Shh. Oh. Cougar head, porcupine head, bigfoot head, turtle head, moose head, skunk head, rabbit head, bear head. Some of them aren't that good at hiding. Bear waited and waited. I'm getting hungry. When no one came to find him, he decided to head home. As Bear jogged, he thought of hamburgers, hot dogs, cupcakes, cookies, and ice cream. I'm hungry, really hungry. With his mind on food, Bear did not pay attention to what was underfoot. Oh, he tripped and fell. What's this? Where did it come from? Hmm, interesting. I'm going to take this with me. Oh, so he's found a backpack. Mr. Broadbent's first question is, I wonder what is inside the backpack? Have you got any ideas what might be inside the backpack? I think he's hoping it might be food. I um, don't think it's going to be. What took you so long? Wow, where did you find that cool backpack? Open it! Open it! I don't know if I want to. Open it! Yeah, come on, let's see what's inside. Hurry up! Open it! Bear slowly unzipped the zipper. Come on! Hurry up! Gosh, they're not very patient. Wow! Underwear! Try some! Try the blue ones. Try the striped ones. Gosh, it's a lot of underwear. Goodness me. It's landed on the porcupine's head. Bear put on a pair of blue underwear. Lame! Too big! What do you think of these? Dorky! Too small! He tried on another pair. Too loose! Whoops! Too silly. Bear tried on another from the backpack. Too girly. Too dirty. Too itchy. But nothing suited him or his bottom. Gosh, I wonder if he can find some. Bear was ready to give up. But there was one more pair left. Bear held up the underwear. He put his right leg in. Then he's left, he pulled and tugged. The tidy whitey underwear was just right. A perfect fit. Oh, look at them, he looks smashing in his underwear. We need underwear too. Oh, I think they're gonna go through the rest and try and find some. I reckon some of the other ones that the bear tried on are going to fit them. We'll see. Oh, it does. 
Yay! Totally rad! Sweet! Wow! Awesome! Hooray! Super cool! Yippee! Bear stood there with a smile wide and bright. Bear in underwear looked dynamite. Ooh. There's words that rhyme there. Dynamite. Bright. Hmm. So bright and dynamite rhyme there. Awesome. Look at them in their underwear. They're looking very snazzy. And that is the end of our book today. So that is a bit of a series of bear in underwear. That is the first one we might be able to read uh, some more coming up soon. But thank you for listening with a read aloud with Mr. Broadbent. Hopefully you enjoyed bear in underwear and I look forward to reading a read aloud again with you very soon. See you later prep B and prep W.